I'm coming, I'm coming. Hey, Mom, I'm sorry I'm late for lunch, you know. <laughs> but I heard a funny joke. I was walking along and I saw this fat walrus. <laughs> How fat was she? She was so fat when she went swimming, she left a ring around her leg. I knew you like it, Tom. I Listen, Mom, I've got something to tell you. It's really important, you know? Pop, I don't want to play ball. Put the ball down. Mom, I think I've reached the age where I've got to go out on my own. It's nothing personal. The time has come for me to find a mate. Nah, no, don't give me that. Every girl I went out with you put down. How about the founder I met? I really liked her. I brought her home for dinner. And you ate her. <laughs> no, I'm your only son. Give me your blessing, will you? <gasps> Thanks, Mom. I hope I can find a girl just like you. Only without the whiskers. It was at this fortuitous moment that we docked in the lagoon with our ship, the Babalu. I better hide. I mean, something smells fishy here. Well, it's me. Hello? Hello, anyone here? Bonjour, bonjour. Annette loves Frankie. Ah. The song of the conch shell is irresistible to a mermaid. You know that? Who are you? What are you doing here? I live here. Who are you? I am Jacques Cluster, world famous oceanographer. I am here in search of the elusive mermaid. A mermaid? Oui. What's that? A mythical sea creature who from the west down is a fish. But from the waist up is, uh, how you say, unless she sees a mermaid, a great pair of water. <laughs> no kidding. You mean there really is such a thing? Just ask any sailor who has been at sea for six months. <laughs> hey, do you mind if I tag along? Not at all. Just walk this way. <laughs> it's easy for you to say. Huh? Now, this device will help us find her location. What is that? A Sony Fishman. <laughs> is getting closer. 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 It's... Sacre mackerel! You are a merman! What'd you call me? A merman, a merman! There's no business like that! <laughs> you are a merman! Uh, well, it takes one to know one. You no, misunderstand no, no, no. me, Monsieur Merman. I want to take you back to civilization with me and share you with the world. Oh, my family's been through enough. My uncle's in a children's zoo, and my aunt, she's a muff in Toronto. That's good. But you stick with me, my aquatic friend, and you will be bigger than Shamu. Shamu? Oui. Mermaid. Mermaid. Word from the press will ensure us not only a government research grant, but possibly my own special on PBS. Very well. I just don't want them to exploit him like some kind of sideshow freak. Look what it did for the elephant man. Me! <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen of the press, my ravishing assistant, Dr. Louise Carter, and myself present the amazing merman. Ah! Ah, time for dinner. Oh, this isn't dinner. That's Oliver. We were in school together. Besides, I don't want fish anyway. I'm tired of fish. What is fish, fish, fish? And how about a veal cutlet? A frankfurt with sauerkraut. A piece of Danish. Lord, 
Please, Oliver. Dr. Carter, does the creature like being in captivity? First of all, this man is no creature. He is a human being. Are you kidding? My great uncle was Moby Dick. He is a man <laughs> with dignity and intelligence and feelings and warmth and desires and deep yearning passion. Uh, perhaps you can direct the, the remainder of your questions to the merman himself. Uh, Wait. Mr. Merman, are you lonely here in captivity? Nah. I brought my whole neighborhood with me, you know? Well, that's Al over there, and there's Ralph, and that's Wayne with the pink stripes, and that's Lucy, the red snapper. I picked her up at a sushi bar. <laughs> Is it hard to walk with a tail the size of yours? That's funny. I was about to ask you the same thing, you know? Merman, question over here. Coming through. Look out there. Come, Harold, I'm sorry. Coming through here. Merman, do you have a name? Do I have a name? Is Bismarck a herring? Of course I got a name. My full name is... How do you spell that? Lady, do me a favor, will you? Come over here, okay? How do you spell that? Why don't you address me the same way Dr. Carter does? Oh, and how's that? Not now, darling. Someone is coming. <laughs> been under a great deal of stress. Uh, any further questions today would only confuse him. Uh, th this press conference is over. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, just... Madame et Monsieur, come with me, <laughs> s'il vous plaît. I will introduce you to the wonder and the potentially fatal and intricate meeting ritual of the seer. Oh, darling. Oh, thank goodness they're gone. Oh, at last we are alone, my angel. Oh, my darling, take me in your arms, my deep sea devil, and kiss me. All my life, I've waited for someone like you to come along. You are a marine biologist's dream. Human intelligence coupled with unlimited spawning ability. Uh, uh, don't believe that old fish tale. Besides, it won't work where we live. We'll buy a houseboat. A houseboat? Are you kidding? Yes. I'll keep slipping off the deck. It'll never work. Oh, yes, Willow, darling, I swear it, Willow. Please, say you'll marry me. Marry? Are you kidding? Let's not get carried away. I mean, for at least a year, we should... Swim together. Oh, but if it takes, I'll do it, I swear. Oh, darling. Mm -hmm. Dr. Carter! Monsieur Merman, what are you doing? Are you crazy? <laughs> have you been at sea so long that you have salt water in your veins? Can't you see I love him and I want to spend the rest of my life with him? Do you want to be a fishwife? <laughs> yeah, but we're one fish short. <laughs> There is an apparition still in the experimental stages which can alter the genetic structure of a woman into a fish. However, it may be fatal. I don't care. I'll do anything. I want to spend the rest of my life with him. I want to have your caviar. <laughs> Please, stop, stop. This is sick. It's madness. Come with me, Dr. Carter. This is madness. Are you sure you want to go through with this? Yes. Hey, yes. do me a favor, will you? Have it ready before the tide goes out. <laughs> Give me some room here, will you? I mean, go play nice with the title, huh? Well, mon ami, your waiting has ended. Did the operation work? Is she half fish? You bet. Voila! <laughs> it'll never work. We can never go in public. I'll spend my whole life looking for costume parties. <laughs> Might not be too bad, you know? She can't yell at me. She could never say no. She'll never lose an earring. <laughs> hey, honey, come here, will you? Hmm. Hmm. Looks like I'm hooked. <laughs> <laughs>